Well, good morning, world. Sun's out there somewhere. Well, fall is here. Leaves are starting to change. You can see the leaves up there turning yellow. And down here on the ground, yellow leaves everywhere. With fall means deer season. I'm building a deer hoist for the back of a pickup. That way you can fill dress a deer because deer season started two weeks ago out here in Kansas. Well, bow season did. So it'll make life a lot easier if he can lift up his doe and field dress it before bringing the meat home. Don't worry, you're not going to see any dead deer in this video. It's just going to be strictly a metal build. I had a few pieces, which is what's all laying here. Trying to figure out exactly my dimensions and whatnot. Figured out how I want to make it, so I went and got a bunch of new iron. And some new iron here. But basically, this little piece here will go into the receiver hitch. We'll come up with a piece that telescopes inside another piece and a little bit of a jib and a hand winch, and that's it. Um, I'm thinking about putting maybe a footrest on it to go from the bottom of this down to the ground just to kind of keep the back of the pickup from bouncing up and down too much. We'll see how that goes. So that's the basic idea. Um, I'm not reinventing anything new here. If you look on the internet for deer hoists, you'll find all kinds of makes and models of them. This piece will go into the receiver hitch of the pickup. And I want it to fold around, so I grabbed another scrap piece I had laying here so I could figure out my dimensions. But because of how everything fits in here, I want it to fold around this way to where it goes up against the main mast like this. You'll see when I get done. So, threw some guidelines on here, whatnot. What I'm going to do is use this piece of six and a half long by four inch wide metal. I don't know what thickness that is. Three sixteenths. I'm going to drill holes, one here and one here. And it will weld onto this piece. Well, actually, I'm going to probably make a notch so it'll go flat. That way it'll pivot clear out here on this pinhole so it can go clear around, flop up, and be out of the way. And then when you want to put it in the pickup, flop it around 90 like this. And then the next section will telescope up. Just a Little word of advice, don't lay your pliers on hot pieces of scrap vinyl. <sighs> this piece will telescope inside here. If you notice there's plenty of slop, that's fine. And then the arm, since that, so that side goes into the receiver hitch. This side faces away from the pickup. 
This side is going to fold up and around, and this side is going to fold up and around. So I want this one to fold around and clunk, walk like this. That way when the deer is hanging here, the hinging action will actually hold it there. Should have done both these at once. That made a little more sense. I'm gonna put myself a witness mark on here so I know which way the plates orient orientate. That way I know they go this way and not this way. I actually want this thing to go not quite to 90 when it flips over. So, I think I actually need to taper the top of this square tubing just a few degrees. Like not much at all. Just kind of eyeball it here and see what I want. And I'm going to do something like that. Thinking this through quite a bit. I was going to put the winch on the back side. So the cable went up and over this arm. But I'm having difficulty figuring out how to get the pulley to rest in here. Um, the easy solution to that would be to have the cable in the square tubing. But even if I do that, then the square tubing can't fold around. So, a little bit of a stumper on that. I looked online, and what most people are doing is they stick the winch in here. And just run up to the pulley right there. So your winch is on the same side as your deer. This is a little bit bigger of a winch than what I wanted. Um, so it's really kind of in the way. And your deer is going to be kind of hanging in this area. Probably the shoulders will actually be right about the winch because they'll hang with the head down. So I don't really like that. Because what I finally decided is if I put the winch on the side. I can route the cable on the lift arm like that. So I'm going to try going with that. This is kind of one of those cases where this works a lot easier in my head than it does in real life. So I thought I had this pretty well figured out before I started. Think in my little brain. Take a two inch, half inch bolt, put it in this way, it's on a nut, put that on there, and then I'll put the other nut on the back side. And supposedly, uh, these things come apart, but boy, 
they're actually a pain in the butt. And they probably do that on purpose. That pin doesn't fall out near as easy. And then you gotta squeeze the crap out of it. Ah, to get the hairpin back in. <clears throat> Not convenient. But I think that'll work great. I think the next step is to mount the winch. And I thought about using this plate and putting it under here, give it a little spacer so I can just put the bolts in there. But I came up with another idea. Set it on there, drill some holes in it, thread those holes, so I can put short bolts in it, cap screws I guess if you will. Set the winch on top of that, put the bolts in there. So this tubing fits really sloppy in this tubing. And when it's completely extended, it's a lot of flop. So what I'm gonna do is basically put a piece of strap iron on there. See if I can get my painter to give it a coat after I go and knock down all the sharp corners on this thing too. Well, there's the completed project. This really was a fun project. And it makes me think, this is what I envisioned when I started my business, of doing stuff like this, you know? People have an idea, and I figure out how to make it a reality. That's what I'd like to do more of, these types of projects. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. And be careful this deer season. <laughs>